Alright, hello everybody, and welcome to this episode, I believe it's the ninth one, of the Java Game Tutorial Series. In this episode, we are going to do a bit of performance, uh, bettering, I guess, uh, making the performance better, by not rendering every tile. So right now, what it's doing is it's rendering every single tile in the world. We don't want that. Because we can't see these tiles anyway, so why should we render them? So we want to check if the if the tile is inside the screen boundaries, and if it is, render it. So it's not going to take long, and it will do major things to the performance, and we'll be able to have a really big world without any lag. Anyways, let's jump into that. So what we're going to do is in the world class, we are going to create a new rectangle. So public, and it's going to be static, rectangle, tile bounds. There we go. And this is going to be equal to a new rectangle. And in here, we want the x to be 0, the y to be 0, the width to be main dot width, and the height to be main dot height. There we go. So now, well, let's go into the tile class. And in here, we're going to have to be create a public boolean is alive. Now, every time we tick this rectangle, what we're going to do is we're going to check if rect Actually, for, we want to do this after we set the boundaries. So, after we set the boundaries, we're going to do if rect dot intersects with world dot tile bounds is alive equals true. Else, we want to set is alive equal to false. Now in the render method what we're going to do is if is alive then we are going to render it. There we go. Believe it or not that is all. So now what we're going to do is in our game state in our play state here when we create the new world let's set the size of it up to 20 because we don't want to make it too big because terrain generation does take a while. We'll we create stuff later that will make it shorter. But now, let's just wait a second. And look at that. The, there's not a lot more lag. And the worlds are now way bigger. So, believe it or not, that is it. You can make the worlds any size. Uh, you might want to try to stay below 1000 you can actually create them any size as long as you don't mind very long loading times because generation does take a while so anyways this is a little bit of a short one the next tutorial should be out soon thank you all for watching this episode of my java game tutorial series and i'll see you all next time